Alrighty, so, alright, so I'm gonna make a quick little video on how to use the AutoZone vacuum pump tester, power steering, and brake bleeder kit. It's a nifty little thing to use when you are by yourself and you want to try and brake bleed or bleed your brake system or your clutch system. And you can also use it for power steering as the name suggests, but we're gonna focus on just the brake bleeding slash clutch bleeding use of this tool. It's free from AutoZone, you can rent it, you just put down your deposit, and then you get it back when you return it. Your deposit is basically what the tool costs. So we're gonna open this up. You're gonna see a lot of different pieces here. The things that we're gonna use for brake bleeding slash clutch bleeding, it's gonna be the reservoir with the gasket, the pump itself, the top, these two vinyl rubber hoses, and then the different adapters for the nipple. Um, and then you're also gonna use one of these short tubes. Uh, it's pretty simple to put it together, but I did notice the instructions are a little confusing and there's no video online. So the first thing you wanna do is take your reservoir and put this gasket in this nice little groove that is specifically there for it. Once you do that, you're going to take your cap and you want to take a small hose and put it on the little, I guess, nipple you can say that it is provided for this hose. I'm going to slide this on there nice and tight. Once you've got this together and once you've got the gasket on the reservoir, you're going to put the top on and twist it and get a nice seal. Without the seal, when you try and create a vacuum to pull the fluid into the reservoir, it won't really work or it might be reduced efficiency. Next thing you want to do is take one of these long hoses and connect each one to each different side. Now you want to keep in mind when you're connecting one side to the pump, you want to connect the side that does not have the little hose. So you see this hose is over here. I hope you can see it in the video. So this side is going to by default go to the nipple for the clutch, slave cylinder, or for the um, caliper. The reason being is if you connect this side to the vacuum pump, you're not going to have a lot of space before the vacuum pump starts pulling in the fluid to its to itself, which will ruin the pump. You don't want to do that. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. You're going to take your adapter, put it on the side with the small tube, put it on, and then it's going to go to the nipple, and the other side, you're going to take this and put it to the gun. And as you can see, I put my hand on the opening, start pumping, and it starts creating a vacuum. And that's basically what's gonna be pulling the fluid into the reservoir. Now when my finger came off, the vacuum broke, the seal broke, and the vacuum was released. Another way to release the vacuum is actually pump it up, 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 pump it up. Pump it up. There's a little release valve down here. And you're just gonna Press that, and that releases the vacuum. There is also a cap for the reservoir included in the kit. I'm guessing you can use this to cap the fluid if you want to save it, or you just don't have somewhere to throw it out right away, maybe. But that is basically how you're going to set this up. Like I said, there's different sizes for the nipple, smaller, smaller cars like a Miata, and then the bigger, bigger ones. Um, other than that, it's pretty straightforward, uh, and that's basically how this is going to work. And I'll probably post up a video of actually using this 